An hour early voting starts in the runoff election. Yeah, unlike the other runoffs, this one, though, decides some big races, including who's going to be the Democratic challenger to Governor Greg Abbott in November. Kate Wida is live in the newsroom this morning with the details. Good morning, Kate. Hey, good morning. Well, in addition to the governor's race, we're also following seven House races that you, the voter, are going to be looking at today. Now, one of the big ones for Central Texas is Cheryl Cole and Cheeto Via for Texas House District 46. No this is a seat previously held by Donna Dukes. And when you head to the polls this week, it could be the last May election that you vote on the current electronic machines here in Travis County, at least. In May of 2019, the Travis County clerk tells me they are looking at a new voting system where you, you are given a piece of paper you put into an election booth, you mark it, and then put that paper into a ballot box where it becomes an electronic copy. That's how you walk out knowing that you've created your paper record, you saw it, you put it in the ballot box, and it should be much, much safer and much more about voter confidence uh, in those paper and electronic copies than what we've had in the past. And that's what people have been asking for. That's what we want to give our voters. And the Travis County Clerk says right now they are in the bidding negotiating process between two companies. And because of that, she couldn't tell me how much this might cost the county. Now, as far as early voting goes, begins at 7 o'clock this morning, runs till 7 o'clock tonight. Early voting is all week with Election Day next Tuesday. Typically, runoff elections like we have going on right now see low voter turnout and not a whole lot of publicity either. Usually, that's not expected to be the case, though, starting this morning as early voting starts for some highly contested races, including the Democratic candidate for governor. Kate is live in the newsroom with details. Good morning. Hey, good morning. You know, the Travis County clerk tells me that usually in these runoff elections, they see about 2 to 3 percent of registered voters showing up. But this time around, because of so many races that are at stake, they're planning to see a lot more people. And you mentioned the race for governor. Well, the Democrats, Lupe Valdez and Andrew White, they are vying to challenge Governor Greg Abbott in November. One of the big issues for the candidates has been immigration. Republican Lamar Smith's seat in House District 21 is another big race since he announced he would not seek reelection. Chip Roy and Matt McCall are competing for the Republican ticket. And Mary Street Wilson also facing off with Joseph Kopser for the Democratic vote. And a big one in Austin is House District 46, formerly held by Democrat Donna Dukes. Democrats Cheryl Cole and Cheeto Vela are facing each other in the runoff. Now, if the runoff election doesn't sound like a big deal, analysts say, actually, they are. If a district's been drawn in such a way that it's almost a guaranteed district for a Democrat, then whoever wins the Democratic primary, yes, they'll have to win in the general election, but it's almost they're the de facto winner. And Sherry Greenberg says same deal with the Republican side as well. Now, early voting begins at 7 o'clock this morning. That goes till 7 o'clock tonight. Early voting's all this week. Then Election Day is next Tuesday.